You can never do that. <laughs> yeah, I'll bear that in mind. Well, you, that's what you're doing. Yeah. And making people look fatter than they are. <laughs> yeah. This morning we are in Ensenada, Mexico. We're going to go and catch a little coach and we're going to go out and do a little bit of uh, cheese and wine tasting before we um, go and do a little bit of shopping. Weather's quite nice, so let's go and get the coach. seats in the back which is exactly where I like to be we've got all the room exactly and I've even got somewhere at the back there to put my bag
take that, okay? Okay. Is, uh, I do this just to ask for a big favor. Please stop buying the mix at Costco. It's not the same thing, I promise you, okay? So here it goes, okay? To make a really good, perfect margarita, first of all, you need to shake or fill with ice all the way. The ingredients, uh, simple syrup, okay? If you can't find this, you can actually make it yourself. You can grab some sugar, dilute with water, exact same thing. Fresh lime juice, which is the green one, not the yellow. I have to say it like this, not because I don't think you don't know what a, a um, oh, lime nice. is, but the thing is that in Spanish we call it limón. And yes, a lot of people for some reason confuse it or mistake it, okay? Another one of the ingredients, control, orange liquor. And the main character of this story, tequila. tequila. Of course, in this case it's a reposado, okay? So guys, of course, to make a really good margarita, you have to have the fancy margarita glass. I promise you, it does make a difference on the taste, okay? <laughs> and here we go. To make a good margarita, you need an ounce of each one of these ingredients. So I'm gonna put it on in the shaker. There it is, simple syrup, fresh lime juice, con troy, orange liquor, and tequila. And you know what? I do two ounces of this one because I'm Mexican, okay? <laughs> there it is. Once you have all the ingredients, you need to close it and shake really good till your arm hurts. And there, my arm hurts. And um, this should be perfect size for perfect margarita, okay? It's a, a Sony, Sony A7 Mark III. It's a mirrorless camera. Oh, right. Yeah, so it's um, yeah, a little bit different from a camcorder. But uh, yeah, that's a good job. 4K. Yeah, this is shooting, but I'm not shooting 4K at the moment. It does shoot in 4K if I want it to. But um, the trouble with the video, uh, your ship video, is okay, because you're using HD. Yeah. Okay. Um, your. Let's say it's very soft in places. Yeah, it can be, yeah. You know, yeah. there's no definition to waste no, no, the buttons, you know. Yeah, sure. You, you yeah. Know, you're gonna sell it, if you're going to sell it for a price, yeah. you've really got to do it in 4K. Yeah. I mean, what you're doing is you're using 4.3 4, um, 4 Yeah. You can never do that. <laughs> yeah, I'll bear that in mind. Well, you, that's what you're doing. Yeah. And making people look fatter than they are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I do like this. I yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Have I been at the front? At the front, it's beautiful. Is it? Yeah. Right. I've been out taking photographs all around. Oh, okay. All, right. all, all right. the statues in the front, the lions and everything. Oh, right. Okay. Lovely. Yeah, so I'd let you know. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Right. Okay. Let's um, let's try this margarita now. Now I've uh, received some uh, video advice. I'll um, have my margarita. <laughs> so we're now in Ensenada shopping district. We've been dropped off, and we're just going to see if we can pick up some souvenirs. to have something to eat and drink I'll have a margarita and uh, I'm gonna have a burrito Kirsty is having tacos because it tastes better than on the ship yeah, it's good. Good. I've ended up with two margaritas because it's happy hour so pretty much buy one get one free I guess oh that's a, that's so much nicer than the margarita that I had before well, we're back at the cruise terminal, feeling a little bit jaded after all that wine and uh, and those couple of margaritas and all that food. All I want to do now is uh, go to sleep, to be honest. But um, I think we're going to go for a little wander. There's a nice path from the cruise terminal, which is here. Uh, 
come out the cruise terminal I'll turn left this way there's a path that actually leads you all the way into town uh, where we've just come from on the coach so we might have a little wander down there take a few snaps and uh, and then take a wander back to the cruise terminal the cruise terminal is pretty busy at the minute so uh, we'll hang around out here for a little while uh, go for a little wander uh, it's nice being off the ship to be honest after so many sea days That was a really nice and easy walk into town actually from the ship. So that's the town behind me and you can carry on walking down this way um, which goes further along the bay and then into town again and then the ship is literally just there. It's a five, five, ten minute walk into the town which is um, really easy. It's a nice little path that they put in especially. So here we are at the back of the ship looking down over the path I was talking about earlier. So this is the path into town from the cruise terminal. There's the path and that goes all the way around. There's some more buildings there with toilets and that is the road out of the cruise terminal but that bridge just there, that, uh, if you cross over that, that's that harbour walk and it walks all the way along the waterfront. And that's where I stopped and spoke to you earlier um, and that's where you can get into town or you can carry on into town past the, past the yachts there um, but basically that whole area there is the town and the shopping district so yeah pretty easy six in the morning and it's disembarkation day. Kirsty's in the shower and then we're going to go and uh, run up to the buffet for breakfast and uh, then go down to our lounge where we have to sit out getting off the ship. Last breakfast in the buffet before disembarkation. <laughs> Everything's empty, safe's empty, all these shelves are empty. <sighs> Nothing on the hangers. Nothing on the top shelf. Got my uh, Hawaii uh, t-shirt on, ready for the flight home. And our inside, inside cabin has been lovely. Very comfortable.
Bye bye, little inside cabin. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Mm, nice. So this is where I got the breakfast burrito, all day breakfast. So we arrived at uh, LAX, <laughs> had something to eat, I had a huge burrito which you would have seen because I like to film my food. It was nice and you had a nice burger didn't you? So we've got a couple of hours to go and I think we're going to go and have a look in the uh, Harley Davidson shop. So let's go. So we're back in the UK and uh, yeah, there's snow everywhere on the ground. It's not so bad up here, uh, up in the East Mids, but um, yeah, certainly around Heathrow and uh, in the South, it was pretty snowy. Um, we just stopped at the services on the way back home and uh, next stop is to pick the dogs up. So that's it, that's our, that's our holiday over and done with until the next one, which is later in the year. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed your journey with us and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thank you.